Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good here. Welcome back to some more redirection. So next we have the Infinite Loop 3.0. We did 2.0 last time, and this time it looks like it's a little bit more complex. Captain Bailey. I could do with a nap, but I'm too excited to see what the robots decode. Sleep can wait. So last time we actually did play a level similar to this, except we could put blocks here last time. This time, it looks like we can't place anything in the middle, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So obviously I'm thinking each of these robots are going to need a few cones, because last time we could just put one cone here and they all sort of went in. This time, I don't think it'll be that simple. This one should be fine if I place it here, right? Yeah, that one should be fine. Oh, I remember. These blocks fall down. I keep forgetting every time. These blocks break every time something goes over it. So... If I put one here, that one should be fine. Would it be okay if I put one there? Yes. Right, it'll turn right. And who am I missing? This one. Okay, let's see if I had my right and lefts wrong again this time. Okay, so they can't all go in at once. Timing is necessary. But if I did them individually... For example... Oh, this won't work. So if I take them all out, it should work. I just have to make sure that timing is correct. And somehow delay it. But I can't delay it without affecting all of the other cones. Hmm. That's an issue. So, for example, if I delayed this cone and I made sure the blue one got in first, then there's no way for the red one to turn back. Right, if I put it here... Well, it should still work. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the blue ones in first. So I'll leave the blue, blue ones as is. And I'm going to put the red ones on a four second timer. And I'll put it on the opposite side. So that when they turn back, they'll turn in. Maybe? We'll see. So when they come here, will they turn back? No, they're gonna go suicide off the the ramp. Hold on. What if... What if I placed it here? Right? Then if it's here, then I'll turn around instead of turning left, because these blocks were blocking it from turning. I think... I think that's correct. No, 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 where am I going with this? I want it here. At four. Okay, let's try that again. No, they still jump off. How do I get them to do a U-turn? Correct. What if I just put it beside each other? No, they'll still 
turn and to jump off. So I was hoping to do the delay the red ones by making them do a turn. But that doesn't seem likely since they have a yearning to jump off the ledge. Okay, so how to do this? They can't all go in at once. It has to be staggered somehow. I can't turn the red ones around. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can. Hold on. What if... Hold on. Let me just reset this up again. What if I put it here? That way they have to turn around, right? Uh, here. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. They did a U-turn. And that should be fine. There we go, no problem. I was just finding out where they could safely turn without jumping off. Silly robots. Okay, what's next? Loop back. Captain Bailey, if a robot is disassembled, teleported, and put back together, again, it is the same robot. Is it the same robot afterwards? That's a common question with teleportation. Okay, what's going on here? We have the lock thing again, which means we have to approach it from this side to undo the lock. And I assume that gets rid of this barrel of radioactive waste, it looks like. It'll jump down here, it'll come down here. I can't make it... I can't put anything here to make it... Turn in here. Let's just see if it opens the lock and what it does when it opens the lock. Oh, it moves the barrel. But then we're stuck. We can't move the barrel. We can't place anything here. What the hell, barrel? That's not cool. Hold on. Barrel gets stuck here. I can't place anything on the gray blocks. I was thinking maybe the barrel can be some sort of stepping stone to jump over, but apparently not. Um, what happens if I just let it go straight? Oh, it's fine. Because it's not on. These are all level. Is there some way to... Hmm. I don't like these locks. Oh, I can put things here though. Hold on. Oh, I get it. So if I put one here, it goes, comes up. Oh wait, no. I was thinking it'd come up, it'll jump back down. The barrel will be down here and it'll just go forward and down. But how do I get it? How do I make it go up again? That's the issue. There's no way for it to jump. There's no other ramps. How do I get it to turn into here? Oh, hold on. What if I put one here and put up a timer of two seconds? That way, it turns back, turns in here, and then by the time the barrel comes down, it will bump into the barrel and then come back down here. I think that's it. Let's give that a whirl. 
so it's gonna reach the end, turn around and head back. I just realized the little obstacles have a little robot picture on them. Okay, we turned on the machine, and now we're turning... Oh, hold on. We didn't turn on the machine for long enough. Okay, this just has to be a little further. Okay. So turn around, come back here, turn on the machine for a longer time. Oh no, asteroid, go away. There we go. This is so cute, it has a little robot face on it. Alright, well I think we're doing pretty good so far. Really good. Intersection. Oh god, this looks complicated. Regret. Captain Bailey, this is going to make for a really interesting report when we get back to Earth. Yeah, all our robots got kidnapped at once. Okay, what is going on? Ten... Ten barrels. We need... to... Come in this way. Okay. I don't know what the green ones are for. We just really need the yellow teleporter, right? Oh, wait. There's no way of getting up here without touching the green teleporter. Where is there? Go up here. We come here. We teleport back here. Also, we can't come this way because it will turn on this machine and we'll never reach this area. Okay, this is complex. Unless if, unless if, hold on, let me just check all the areas. Unless if we completely avoid going onto the green side. Can we do something like this? So that it will only go around and never on the green teleporter. Right, will that work? Oh wait, they're on! They're on to begin with! Alright, never mind, scratch that plan. We need to turn off the arrows. Okay, what happens if we just make him go on the green teleporter? Okay, he jumps back down. Okay, that's good. Can we do that? Will we turn off this? So we, I guess we have to turn off all the ones. Okay, so this one's off. And then now he's going to come back here. And turn off... Nope, he's stuck in a loop. Okay, so I need to figure out what is going on wrong. Okay, let's just go through this slowly, as usual. Okay, this is correct. I know this one has to be here. Turning off this one allows it to come down to this side. I know this is correct. I know this one has to be here, as well as this one, so that it turns off this one. Now, how do I get it to turn this way? Right? It's coming over here. It's stuck in a loop. I need it to stop coming up. I need it to turn... You know what? I've been thinking of making it go in a zigzag. That's just more complicated. Why do I just put one here? If I just put one here? Oh wait, no. I have to put on a timer. Okay, let's say... 10 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so yeah. 10 seconds, that was barely enough. 
He'll come here. Bump. Okay, so now we'll go into the new section. Excellent. And now we have to do the same thing again. So, I'm just going to turn it the wrong way. Here we go. It's going to come in through here. We need one here and one here, just like this. In fact, I'll also wager it's going to be the same on this side as well. Okay. I guess we'll need one on a timer. How long do you think it'll... Oh, because it has to go. Okay, let's put it 20. Twice the time. Okay. Oh boy, there's going to be a lot of speeding up in this one. Oh no, that one 20 was not enough. Hold on, how long does it take to get here? 25. Okay, now that we have the timing right, speed through this again. Oops. Oh no, that was fine. 25 was barely enough. So it's gonna bump into this one. And then go over here. And then we'll turn that off. Okay, so we need another barrel there. Okay, so I think we've got it. This is just way too... Let's put 27. Um, we need a barrel here, right? So that it turns over here once this is falling off. Into here, into here. So this was like plus 17. So let's make this 44. 45. Make it a nice round e number. Okay, let's speed through this because we know this part works. I'm hoping the timing is enough. 10 seconds. Go, little buddy, go. Oh, it might not be enough. Oh, no, we'll make it. We'll make it. Yeah, so we turn off this one. And he's gonna go all the way around without any of the annoying arrows moving. I really hate the locks. I really do. And that should be the right direction. Yay! That was a lot of work for one little robot. But we've rescued 110 of them. Well, that was a bit of a headache, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.